Hey guys, so I'm going to be sharing with you my Barfi truffles or my five minute Barfi. It takes about five minutes for this to come together and it sets in no time. It is the easiest Barfi you can put together. I promise you that and it's so amazingly delicious, creamy, smooth, everything just like a Barfi without all the extra and excess work. Into my saucepan, I have some of this Nestle cream. I'm using the light version of it, but just go ahead and get whatever Nestle cream that you can get. And then I'm going to go ahead and add in some heavy cream as well. Well, so in my saucepan, I have the Nestle cream, the heavy cream. To that, I'm going to go ahead and grate in a little bit of ginger. We're going to go ahead and grate in a little piece of ginger, and then we're going to add in some granulated sugar. We're going to give that a stir, and I'm going to go ahead and take this over to my stovetop. This this is so incredibly easy to do, it is not even funny. So on my stovetop on medium-low heat, I've just placed that mixture on and I'm waiting for it to come up to a slow boil. While I'm waiting for that, I have some instant milk powder as well as some cardamom, ground cardamom. You really need that cardamom for this, as well as I'm going to add in a little pinch of nutmeg. I'm going to go ahead and sift that to make sure that there's no lumps and press all that through it to make sure that there are no lumps of the milk powder. So we have a nice, fine, smooth crumb of the milk powder. After we have sifted that, I'm going to take this over to my stovetop, and I'm going to switch over to a whisk. As this is bubbling, it's now starting to bubble, it's now starting to come to a slow boil, I'm going to give this a whisk. You don't want this to come to a rolling, crazy boil or anything, just a low, slow boil. Give it a whisk, and whisking constantly, I'm going to go ahead and whisk constantly and add my milk powder at the same time. Then I'm just going to incorporate that milk powder, just keep whisking it until it is nice and smooth, and all of that is incorporated. Take about a good minute to two minutes or so. Just mix it until it's totally and completely incorporated into that. And it's become a nice, really thick, nice paste. I'm gonna take this and run it back through my sieve. You don't have to do this step, but I'm just gonna do it to make sure that it's extra smooth. But I'm gonna go ahead and just place this in my sieve because it's gonna be really, really thick. So I'm gonna have to put a little bit of elbow grease in it and run this through using um, a spatula or a spoon to make sure and get all of that out of there. It's gonna become a nice, thick paste. We're gonna place this in our refrigerator to cool for about 15 minutes or so until it sets, and then we're just gonna go ahead and roll these into little balls. I mean, how easy was that? No sugar syrup or anything needed. I'm using about a teaspoon measurement here to take about a teaspoon amount out of it, roll it into a ball, and then roll that ball into some sprinkles. You can just top it with sprinkles or roll it like I'm doing. Just take a small amount, roll it into a ball, and roll it in the sprinkles. And that's it. Perfect little barfi truffles. I like to keep them in the fridge and just leave them out when I'm ready to serve them. It takes no time to put together. It is going to be the easiest barfi that you can put together. No sugar syrup, none of that. It's, it's not a traditional barfi recipe, but it is a good easy one. I hope that you guys enjoy. All the amounts are in the description box. I'll see you guys later.